N-A-Y-I-M-E-D-W-A-R-D Dollar sign nigga N-A-Y-I-M-E-D Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning My name is Naeem Elvis, I am your host And today before we get started, shout out to Swelty for your financial contribution Shout out to Colorado Rick for your financial contribution Shout out to the Black Pole, he's sending me a copy of Bars to complete my Ed Cole book collection And shout out to C. Soto for sending me this NASCAR merch This one's from the Richmond Speedway out here And this one is from the Legacy Motor Club, the Guns N' Roses edition I greatly appreciate everything y'all send me, every donation y'all make Because of y'all we remain uncompromising, period. Now, I had to write notes for this because I wanted to make sure I didn't skip anything because we're going to be talking about Lil Nas X and his new song and his new song in relation to what's going on in society. So I would have thought by now that everybody would have already caught on to the fact that Lil Nas X uses the cheapest form of publicity, which is some type of gimmick to get the outrage, the outrage from society so they can react to whatever he does. He throws the cheapest shots. He does the cheapest thing. It's 100% free to say something to piss you off, to do something to piss you off, to strike your nerve. And I'm, I'm going to be for real. I'm still shocked that people are buying into this. You would think that the way that society speaks of itself, like it's so high and it's so mighty and it's so above and it's so intelligent and it's so, you know, I just vibrate higher than all of the BS that soon as you hear Lil Nas X name, you just kind of go the other way because you know it's about to be some BS. You know he about to be on some clown stuff. You know he about to be on some clout chasing time. You know it's about to be some nonsense with him. So you would think that people would have caught on by now to just, if I see it, I'm not letting that bother me. That's not going to get to me. But of course, this is not the case at this moment because Lil Nas X decided that, you know, the last thing he did for Cloud Chaser was bumping and grinding and twerking and pop locking and dropping it on a representation of what Satan is supposed to be. Now he's decided that he to come out and say, you know, I'm giving my life to God and my comeback is big as Jesus Christ and all of these other things. And it's got the Christians outraged. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't believe any of the outrage. I believe all of it is fake and I believe it's all selective outrage because this is a reading channel. Because of course y'all know we do education over here. We read books and one of the books that we've actually read is our Bible. This is the English standard version. I have other versions of the Bible here. The one thing I will tell you, and this is no disrespect to nobody's personal beliefs. I don't really be liking to get into religion because you can't win an argument when people are stone cold rock rib into whatever their personal beliefs is about whoever they decide they want to worship. But the reason that Christians get tricked up when it comes to the entertainment world is most of them have never read their book. They've never opened their book. They don't know what's in their book. They've never read their book. And people who have went through and read their book will always have the upper hand on them because they're Christian in name only. They are not Christian because they actually know what's going on in here. I saw, I watched uh, the same old gossip reheated episode about Cassinette being mad and obviously being paid by the label because Again, they use the cheapest form of promotion, which is getting you to hate watch something. Because if I can get the most popular streamer on the planet to say he hates this person, he hates that nigga, he hates this, he hates that, what is everybody going to do? They don't, people don't look at stuff and say they hate it and then walk away from it. They say they hate it and then they tune in. They say they hate it, then they participate. They say they hate it, then they spread the word kind of like what happened in this book. People hated Jesus so much they couldn't stop talking about him and that's what got him killed. You know, but a lot of these people that are Christian in name only are only Christian when it comes to images of Jesus Christ that are not even images of Jesus Christ because if you opened your book, it would tell you like, you know, you're not supposed to have no fake images of God, period. It's not supposed to, you don't, take things and turn them in, take, take items and turn them into what you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, so 
the I just I I know for a fact all of it's fake because let's just go down this list of things. You don't care and you don't mean it. It's the first thing I have up here. You don't care about Lil Nas X. You don't care about Lil Nas X saying nothing disrespectful about it. You don't care about nobody saying or doing anything disrespectful in the name of Jesus. One, because you don't live according to your book. You don't live according to what the gospels tell you to live like. Because if you did, you would care about what's happening in society. For Casanet to even come out and break his breath and say that he hates somebody that's disrespecting Jesus when one, you just had a friend that you had to distance yourself from because you covered up a capital R that he did at your party on a girl. Two, you had Lil RT on the platform freestyling. First, you had that child on that platform knowing what that child represents. But again, you only care when it's fake Jesus being disrespectful, being disrespected. You only care when it's somebody else that look like you doing it. Cause we got a list of the things that I rambled off on the top of my head. You didn't care about a child coming on your platform, freestyling, talking about capital R and somebody, uh, nothing in people doing adult activities. You didn't care about using your platform to represent everything that your book, cause you claim you're a Christian. You don't care that everything that the gospel say you're not supposed to do, y'all get out here and do it. And the only thing, the only sin y'all supposed to, like, not sin, supposed to, the only sin that y'all ever come out and go hard against is homosexuality, but you don't even know what sin is. You don't, you don't, you're, you, the book already told you what these things is. If I asked you, what is love? you would give me some long drawn out crazy around the world in 80 days type of answer when your book told you that God is love. And when you say you love somebody, that means you're supposed to have God's heart for them, which means you're supposed to want what God wants for them. So y'all, y'all won't say that because you've never read the book. You're not readers. You don't understand. They thought you say, I to ask you who the Virgin Mary was. Oh, she had this miracle whatever baby or whatever, but virgin in the time that this was written means unwed mother. Jesus was born to a woman who did not have a husband who was not married to the man that she was having her baby by. You, you don't pick your book up because you don't understand because a lot of y'all are just trying to capitalize on the situation that, Oh, let me beat up on a homosexual. Betrayal is a sin. Lying is a sin. Being fake is a sin. Being broke is a sin. <laughs> like it's a whole lot of sins. And what is sin? Sin means you're putting things before God. Idol worship. People worship money. Y'all worship attention. Y'all worship all type of things. You worship materialism. You bow down. God told you, let your yes be yes and your no be no. And even if you don't want to do something, you'll still go and do it. That's sin. You would know that if you picked your book up you don't pick your book up because it's just it's easy to just punch punch and kick somebody that is doing a lifestyle that you don't agree with and i'm not here to say i agree or disagree i don't care what i'm here to saying is stop acting like you care when you don't care if you have a drug addiction you're in sin that's idol worship that's putting something before god god doesn't want you addicted to substances but every day that you get up and you do your ritual ritual Every time that you know in your heart that you're not supposed to be doing this, but you do it. Every time you agree to something that you're not supposed to agree with, your book told you that two people can't walk together unless they be agreed. So if your friend is a pedophile, but you're not a pedophile, you can't walk with the pedophile and say you're not the pedophile because your book told you already can't two walk together Unless they be agreed. You can't be with that person unless you agree with what they're doing. You can't walk and stand with that person unless you agree. You're not in this position of helping them. And why am I even bringing this up? Because like I said, you don't really care. You just It's just easy to shoot at Lil Nas X. And f as far as cancel culture, cancel, cancel culture doesn't exist. It does not exist. I don't need you. So you can't cancel me. Y'all bark and get mad at all of these other people and you're mad and you're barking at everybody except the people responsible. 
Y'all told me I was hating. Let Lil RT do whatever he wanted to do. He was young again, his money. It was his way out. When I said a child shouldn't be doing these type of things, we need to save them. You don't know, you don't care no more than I would have, you know what I'm saying? I care more than you do. Because I was the only one who was bold enough to come out and say something. Everybody else was reacting and laughing. And, oh, man, this is crazy. This is funny. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Again, there's no such thing as real outrage when it comes to Lil Nas X. Because if you really didn't care, you would ignore it like the rest of us do when we see him. When I see, bro, this is the first time I've ever spoke about this man on this channel, period. I specifically don't speak about it because I know that it's just cheap shots. The second thing is, all of y'all that is attacking him on the basis of Christianity, and I really didn't want this to be preachy, but I don't care how it comes out and sounds. You don't attack somebody on the basis of religion. One, you don't you don't tell people what to believe. You don't tell people what's real to them. But you cannot call yourself a Christian if you believe in horoscopes. You cannot call yourself a Christian if you believe in tarot cards. You cannot call yourself a Christian if you believe in karma. You cannot call yourself a Christian if you believe in yoga. You cannot call yourself a Christian if you believe in Harry Potter. You cannot call yourself a Christian if you believe in witchcraft. You cannot call yourself a Christian if you believe in all that Egyptology and, and all that other stuff and spell casting and all of these other things. Because your book specifically told you, bring it up again, your book specifically told you that all of that stuff is demonic. You can't have faith in it and then turn around and attack somebody for dabbling and dillying in it, but then tell, ask somebody what their birth chart is. Oh, I got to find out, you know, he, I don't like Pisces. I don't, I don't, I don't like Capricorns. Y'all do all of that. How are you, how are you a Christian and you believe in Capricorns? That stuff doesn't exist. This book never said anything. Damn. This book never said anything about Capricorns and Pisces. And in and, and, and Aries and Cancers, this book never mentioned any of that. So how are you mad at somebody for disrespecting something and you don't even know what's in your book and you're participating in, you're participating in things that are not a part of what you're supposed to believe in? Don't get me up here like calling y'all out on every little thing. Again, another thing with manga. All this predicting of the world and all this stuff, bro. This book specifically told you you don't know when God is coming back. He's going to be like a thief in the night. You're not going to know. Nobody knows the date. Nobody knows anything. Nobody knows. So I, for that part, I just want to make it clear that you, you don't even believe what you're saying. You're not that mad. Because one, if you were that mad, you would have do something about it. That's why it's nothing's going to happen to him. If you were so mad about Lil Nas X, you would do something about it. And you would do something about all of the stuff that happens out here in the world, which falls me into entertainment. So what's the difference between entertainment and real life? Because I didn't see nobody outraged that is on this platform speaking about being mad at some random rapper that you, if you claim that that's not your lifestyle, you shouldn't even be paying no attention to him. You, you see that and you keep going, bro. I don't have to be forced to look at anything. I don't have to be forced to hear anything. I don't have to be forced to be a part of anything I don't want to be a part of. And maybe that's just because I didn't get on this motherfucker lying about only living on music. I get up and go to work every day like everybody else. So I don't have to be bothered with shit I don't want to be bothered with. I didn't, I didn't see any of y'all complaining, outraged about the after school Satan club. That was a big thing out here in Virginia. Because they had the after school Bible club, the after school Satan club wanted their club and they got their club. I only seen a few people outraged about the after school Satan club. I don't see nobody outraged about the baby on the cross. The baby used to call itself baby Jesus. None of you were outraged about that. I don't see nobody outraged about Kendrick Lamar running around with crowns of thorns on his head. Jay-Z calling himself Hove. You know what I'm saying? Kanye West calling himself Jesus. Tupac and Machiavelli on the cross. Kiss. Kiss stands for knights in Satan's service. Even this Doctor Who. This the Doctor Who had this whole thing about eating, sacrificing babies, eating babies. I'm gonna stick it in here. i
quit soon enough. What do we do? Babies have such very bad luck. No into baby, we will talk. Eat the baby and some salt. Baby's season a powdered melt. No baby salt says she's a treat. Her destiny is time to meet. I wonder whose ship this is. He's the Goblin King, yes, the Goblin King. He's not a myth, he's a natural thing. Here's the King, here's the King, here's the King, here's the King Goblin. Oh, my God. If we love his chin when it's wobbling. He likes to sign up to go for a It feels like he wants to go for a Circus clowns with a red balloon. He can eat me. He makes me swear. A bag before a king on high. Oh little baby. Oh little baby. Say goodbye. Nobody's mad about. Marilyn Manson and Antichrist Superstar and all the devil worship stuff that's going on in that. Doja Cat and, and this do this devil worship thing that she got going on. Nobody's mad about the game and the biggie and, and Kanye West and this Jesus piece thing. Do you even know what, what, like, when you look at a Jesus piece, a person that's mad at Lil Nas X is mad at Lil Nas X for playing with the Lord's name, but... You see a rapper put on a Jesus piece. Why the fuck would you wear Jesus in his lowest state being crucified for fighting for his um people, fighting for what he believed in, being a revolutionary freedom fighter? You're not, and, and you're going to put that on your neck with his thorns, and some people are even had a rubies that's dripping the blood and crying out the eyes, and Jesus, the, the representation of what Jesus is supposed to be because none of these people are Jesus. Caesar Borgia and, and, and all these other people that people hang around their neck and all this crap. But, like, why would you wear that around your neck but you wouldn't wear a fish? You wouldn't wear a burning bush. You wouldn't wear the Ten Commandments. You would do all of that. You're not mad at, you're not mad at none of these. You're not mad at nobody's lyrics. Talk about worshiping the devil and summoning this shit. Playboy Cardi playing with that devil shit. Uzi Vert playing with that devil shit. It's, oh, it's, it's a problem because the gay boy did it. Okay. You could be mad at one. You need to be mad at everybody. The last thing I want to say is, according to your book, because I would I would employ to ask you what makes your book different than this book. What what makes these books different? There's people who believe in this just as much as they believe in this. You ain't saying nothing about the people that believe in this. Why you not? Why are you not attacking the people that believe in this? But you're you are busy using this to attack people. But when they use this to attack people, oh, this is wrong to use to attack people, but this is okay to use. You know what I'm saying? What's the difference between this and this? Both of these are factual books, according to you, if you believe in the faith. What's the difference? I would I would like an answer because I don't I don't like selective outrage. I don't like people picking and choosing. If you're gonna be mad at one, you be mad at everything. If you're gonna be pissed off about one, you be pissed off about all of it. Notice that I put all I use musicians because a lot of y'all, if you actually believed in your book, a lot of y'all talked about TD Jakes when that Diddy shit came out. Your book specifically told you, Psalms 105.15, do not touch my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. Just because a person made a mistake, if it was true, because I don't know if it's true or not, but if because a person made a mistake, you felt like it was cool to dog pal on TDJs. Exodus 2026 20, already told you don't speak down on the altar you can't stand on. You ain't never stood on, and you've never been in TDJ's position. 
obviously he's some type of man of God. And if he made a mistake, you were supposed to say a prayer for him. But you was too busy being a Christian in name only. And a lot of y'all don't want to say that. And a lot of y'all don't want to be like that. It don't matter if you believe in it or not. It doesn't matter if it if it's the lifestyle you subscribe to. How is it okay to be mad about this? Somebody who's obviously playing games, but you was you're not mad and canceling anything else that anybody has ever done. When was Jesus a part of the blood gang? The game had the Jesus Peace album, bro. When was Jesus a blood? Is Jesus Pyru? Because it's selective. They pick it and they choose. That's why I don't take this shit serious. I can't take it serious when, oh my God, he went too far. What's too far? Because on one hand, you'll tell somebody that they have freedom of ex expression. You, They can do what they want to do. But you've also, no, you didn't stand up and do nothing righteous to, to counteract what they've done. And this is my thing. This is like, I'm, I swear, this is the last thing I'm going to say. If you so mad about Lil Nas X, now again, keep in mind, I did not agree or disagree with any of this. It doesn't matter. I'm just giving you some factual points about people in their selective outrage. If you're so mad at Lil Nas X and enough of y'all is mad at Lil Nas X and he's so powerful and he's so this, why didn't y'all form like Voltron and get together and get him the fuck out of here? Because you know you're powerless. Because all you're going to do is talk shit. You're not going to do anything but be mad. And when the next thing happens, you're going to move on to the next thing. Nothing's going to come of you being mad. You just want something to talk about. And in turn, and you just talking about it and being mad, it's only going to make more people go over there and look at it. If you were serious about what you wanted to do and what you wanted to stop, because it wouldn't matter if he was talking about this or if somebody else was talking about something else. If you were serious about it, you would do something about it. You would get together with other people just like you and do something about it. Nobody wants to hear this person's gay. Nobody wants to hear this person's a part of a secret society. Nobody wants to hear this person's so almighty and so powerful and so this. How in the fuck are you more powerful than all of us together? Because if you're admitting one person having creative control over doing whatever the fuck they want to do, with their music, right or wrong, according to you, right or wrong, why don't you get together with other like-minded people and go against it and stop it? You don't have an answer for that. You want to want to know why you don't have an answer for that? Because you didn't plan on doing shit in the first place. <laughs> like, let's just be for real. You didn't, you had no plans on doing nothing. You just like being mad. And that's the problem with the other side. That's the problem with people who think cancel culture is real. All you want to do is be mad. You don't want to mobilize. You want to do nothing. You just want to talk shit and be upset. The fuck is you upset about some shit you ain't have no business looking at in the first place? As soon as you see something that might be blasphemous, if you're not some type of journalist, you don't have no business bothering with it. I wasn't going to even look at it until I saw same old gossip reheated, Katrina Gibbs, say something about it. And because she said something about it, oh, okay, this must be something I need to look at. That's how I'm, I'm doing my, my basis. I hear about shit. And it's just like, all right, okay, you know. And that's why we don't have to talk about everything. We don't have to be bothered with everything. Because if it's some shit where I know that I don't give a fuck about it, and I'm just going to be like, no, okay, whatever, fuck it. That's how y'all, you, you, want, you, want you want a reason to be mad. And all the motherfuckers talk about, oh, Muslims wouldn't stand for this. Shut the fuck up. You don't you stand for shit no way. You don't stand for a fucking thing. Muslims believe in Jesus too. If you was this, and that's another uh, motherfuckers don't read their Quran, they don't read their Bible, they don't read the goddamn Torah, they don't read anything. They don't read you niggas don't read shit, and that's why people keep playing in your face and playing with you and playing with you every step of the fucking way because you don't fucking read. There's a whole religion out here that talks about assaulting kids, and you motherfuckers wouldn't even know because you don't read. You only crack this book open. Bitches talking about they are Proverbs, whatever type. Girl, bro, man, shut the fuck up, bro. Y'all, it's just too much. I just want to be mad because being mad is the thing to be. He talked about Jesus, bro. I can't have that, bro. You not even, you're not even living the life that Jesus wants you to live. God doesn't want you destitute, broke down, busted, depending on other motherfuckers for everything for your day. God wants you almighty, ferocious, and powerful. But you not that. So, so we should be mad at you? Bro, get, let me get the fuck out of here, bro, because 
Motherfuckers and man, man, man. A Y I M E D W A R D dollar sign nigga. N A Y I M E D A.